A wide range of monsters inhabit the land of Voyard, and most take their names from different real-world cultures. Let's start by going through the monster families alphabetically. This will cover the real-world inspirations. The in-world explanation is the Synergy Stones during the Age of Alchemy, and following the Mount Aleph eruption, has mutated many of the people and animals of the world. And some of the cattle will transform into bullmen, or bats will grow scorpion tails. A doomsayer is one who is extraordinarily pessimistic and diligently preaches impending doom, catastrophe, cataclysm, or failure. Think the hobos who have been wearing signs saying the end is near for decades. The Japanese death priest implies the doomsayer seeks to bring his deadly predictions into reality. The second member of the family is called a lich. This is a type of sorcerer who has become popular following the creation of he who cannot be named, Sauron, from the Lord of the Rings. Lich began long ago as a synonym for corpse, but following the popularity of Tolkien's epic, it came to be used to describe sorcerers who gain complete immortality, but usually not immunity to aging, and great strength by placing part of their soul in a vessel like a ring, a stone, or a book. The destruction of such a vessel can be crippling to a lich. The third, unused member is Bane White, or Evil Bishop in Japan. A bishop for those unaware is a high-ranking priest. Bane has several meanings, ranging from something that is toxic, to something along the lines of a nemesis, or more likely anything that brings death and destroys life. A white literally means a person or living being. However, in fantasy it refers to a decaying corpse that still contains its soul. The German origin originally meant a small, unpleasant imp-like creature. However, similar to a lich, as small as skeletal sorcerers or necromancers, they fit the standard appearance of a lich without armor. These are two-headed dogs who gain a third head following the release of alchemy onto the world. You know, three heads are better than two. They very much resemble Cer- The first one is named Cerberus in Japan, and outside of Japan the titular Dreadhound. This is just a stylized and whitewashed way of saying Hellhound. Because golly darn fudge, shoot a queen bee's itchy compass. Nintendo can't have any of that damn swearing ruining poor Reggie's virgin ears. His body is not f ready for that. Kick your ass! <laughs> the second doggy is Fenrir, named after a Norse wolf best known for biting off the hand of their best warrior god who dared pet puppy Fenrir without asking under the pretenses of leashing him so he could be bound forevermore. The last member is Cerberus. And in Japan, Hellhound. Why Nintendo? Why swap it? You could have replaced Hellhound with Orthrus. Cerberus was a guard dog of Hades said to have multiple heads. Damn. I didn't think this through. Emus are ostrich-like flightless birds from Australia who managed to beat Australia during the Emu War. <laughs> Due to their speed and incredible resilience to bullets and other weaponry. Also of note is that emus appear in the Wayard equivalent of Australia. The second member of the family is the Talon Runner, a missed opportunity to call it a Road Runner, but bird claws are called talons. The third, unused member of this family is the Wing Runner. Odd to highlight the wings since emus are flightless. These are very stereotypical dragons with a slight resemblance to Charizard, Pokemon's fire dragon. Flame dragon fits since dragons are usually depicted as fire-breathing lizards. Its relative, Fire Dragon, has much the same relevance and slightly resembles Charizard's original shiny color, with green wings and a purple hue. A vaguely similar dragon appears in Dark Dawn, without a family of its own, called the Great Dragon or Grant Dragon in Japan. It also has a palette similar to Charizard's new shiny colors. I don't want him to be alone, so I'll grasp onto this coincidence. Gargoyles are stone gutters shaped like animals or monsters that drain rainwater from buildings. Early legend suggested gargoyles were slain monsters that were mounted on buildings to drain rain and serve as a humiliating warning to any evil monsters that there were monster slayers in these parts making monsters into gutters. The gargoyle family may be based on the types of monsters used in these legends. The second member is the clay gargoyle, sharing the same origins only it is made of clay soil. Which probably would be less sturdy, but who knows. The last member is the ice gargoyle. Which the best idea I can come up with is gargoyles often have water freeze into hanging spikes since they are decorative gutters. Incidentally, they have ice breath. Ghosts are the alleged spirits of the dead who linger on earth. The ghost wears a hooded cloak. The second member of his family is Ghost Mage, or Magician's Ghost in Japan. Given the hood, this ghost could have been a wizard or mage and it fittingly has the ability to manipulate dirt and air. 
much like a haunting poltergeist. The third member is a boss named the Lich Ghost, like the Doomsayer relative. Sometimes after being killed, a Lich's body will be confined as it heals and the Lich will elect to travel as a spirit until this happens. This is basically what Sauron did during the entirety of the Lord of the Rings. His body had been killed and was in a state of recovery thanks to his vessels granting him immortality. He was using all of his magic and powers as a spirit to protect the ring until he could fully regain his former body. By the time the novels begin, he has regained his body, but it was extremely feeble, so he still spent most of his time as a spirit. The famous Eye of Sauron. Upon the destruction of his primary vessel, even his spirit became weak and effectively he fell into an eternal coma as his body started to wither. This ghost also fittingly has many necromantic powers. The fourth member is the Horned Ghost. Presumably this ghost has horns under its hood. The last two are Shadow and Dark Ghost. After being subjected to the Grave Eclipse, which are pretty standard names. And remember, share everywhere if you care.